Hello, we have WooCommerce QuickBooks Connector plugin installed. WooCommerce QuickBooks Connector plugin establishes the connection between QuickBooks Online and WordPress. So we are we have QuickBooks Connector plugin where we have the menu to fill the configuration form for the connection between QuickBook Online and WordPress. So here the step one is to add the keys. The keys are nothing but the client ID and client secret. At QuickBook side, we have our application. So in application, we have the tab of keys where you will find the development keys. The development keys have client ID and client secret. So the client ID, you need to copy the client ID and paste it in the client ID field. Same with the client secret. You just need to copy the client secret and paste it in the client secret field. So here we have the base URL field as well. The base URL field is the accounting sandbox base URL in the development sandbox. So you need to copy the URL and paste it in the base URL field. Once you are done with filling the credentials, click on save changes button. Here comes the step to connect to QuickBooks. As here we are not yet connected, you need to click on connect to QuickBooks button. If you want to change the credentials or if you need to clear the credentials and associate it with different application, just click on change credentials and you can paste the different keys accordingly the application. So click on connect to QuickBooks button. Here the pop-up window is shown. The pop-up window consists of the sandbox companies created at our application. Here sometimes the error message is thrown. The error message shows that you need to add the redirect URI in your application. As we can see, the step one, here it is mentioned that you need to add the below URL as redirect URI in QuickBooks. So make sure that you have already added the redirect URI in the QuickBook. So once you add this, you can click on connect to QuickBooks again and select the company which you want to get the data from WordPress. So here we can select one company and click on connect button. So here you are connected. Here we can export the data from WordPress to QuickBooks Online. So the third step is the accounts information. Here we need to get the QuickBook ID so that we can export our data from WordPress to QuickBooks Online. So for getting the QuickBook ID, click on get ID. Once the connection is get established, so here we have QuickBook ID. This enables you to export the data accordingly. And step four is the connection information. This is just to make sure that which company are you connected to and the connection is succeeded or not. So for that, you can click on verify connection button. It will show the information of the company that is company ID or Realm ID. This ID shows the company which you are selected to and the connection status. If you want to reset the connection, you can click on reset the connection 
and follow the steps of configuration accordingly. So after verifying the connection, we can go for exporting the data. So click on export all function. Here we can see we can export all customers, export all products, export all orders. So from here itself, we can export all the data at once or you can also export the data individually. So once you click on export all customers, all customers from WordPress will be exported to the company which you have selected while configuration. So here we can see we have four customers. After exporting all the customers, you will get a message that customers are successfully exported. So at our sandbox side, we can see the customers which have been exported from WordPress. We will just check we have the same customer. Export it from WordPress site. So here we can click on export all button. Or you can also click on the checkbox here which will enable you to select all the customers and then click on export to QuickBook option. And you can just click on apply. So all the customers will be exported. You can also select some of the customers to get exported if you want. If you add a new customer. So while adding the new customer, The time we create a new customer, it will be exported on the click of save to the QuickBook. You can also define the role of a customer here and the time you click on add new user this customer will be exported in the QuickBooks. Here you just need to refresh the page. Here you can see the same customer which we created right now has been exported to QuickBook. For exporting customer, we have either you can export it from export all option and or you can go to the menu of customers that is users. And you can select all those customers and click to export to QuickBook option and click on apply. So that will export all the customers. Now for exporting all the products, 
either you can export all the products from this button or you can also export the products from the products option here in the same way you can click on the checkbox which will enable you to select all the products and here is the option of export to quickbook and just click on apply this will export all the products to quickbooks online here while adding the new product if you create a new product the time you create a new product just publish it after that the export button option has been enabled so click on export button for syncing or exporting the product individually you need to click on export button so here you can see the product has been exported and if you update the name or any of the parameter of the product here just click on update button and then click on export button so in quickbooks online here we can see the same product been exported so here we have the test one product which we created so here for exporting the products either we can export it through export all button or we can also export it through the option provided in the products by selecting the option from export to quickbook here we can export the products by clicking on export all button or by selecting the products in bulk now we will go for exporting the orders that is sale orders for exporting all the sales order here we have one option of settings this page enables you to select the status and after exporting the status will be changed in the option specified here so the default option or default status is set to processing and then to create invoice the default setting is processing to create invoice but if you want to change the sales order status from completed to create estimate or sales receipt then we can go for it and once you export all the sales order to the quickbook online the orders which have the status as completed will be created as sales receipt to quickbook online so here i select completed option in the status and create sales receipt you can select any of the combination and just click on save when you click on settings option in wordpress quickbook connector this page gets open and the default setting is processing to create invoice so from here you can change the status accordingly and just click on save button so for exporting all the orders just click on all orders you can export all the orders from this button 
either by clicking this button or by going to orders we can select all the orders from this page and just go to export to quickbook and apply you can also change the status to processing to on hold or to completed as we have selected the setting if the status is completed then it will be created as sales receipt to quickbooks online so here i select the order which is completed and i'll click on export to quickbook and click on apply the same order will be exported and create a sales receipt at quickbooks online you can also select all the orders and export to quickbook so all the orders will be exported properly and the one which have the status as completed will be created as a sales receipt at quickbooks online according to the settings we have set from the settings page or option so here as i selected 246 order of sales so here we can see the order has been exported properly and it has been created as a sales receipt from wordpress so here you can export the orders from the button or you can go to the orders as well before exporting the orders be sure that you have set the settings accordingly if you want to change the status of sales order don't forget to change the setting from the plugin and go to settings so you will get the form of changing the status and creating the estimate or invoice or sales receipt as you want so here we can export customers products and orders thank you